And we're going to add a custom script to our script resource library that we've built, and we're going to implement that solution onto our SharePoint site. And so for this demo, I'm going to be using Easy Tabs, the awesome tabbing solution built by Christoph Humbert of PathToSharePoint.com. So to generate our script, we will go out to the User Managed Solutions site. This is where Christoph has all of his scripts on display and we will build our script. So we are going to use the SP2010 style since I'm using SharePoint 2010. I can, this is what the tabs will look like in their default colors. I can go and modify those colors to be anything I want. So I wanna change my inactive tab background color, let's say to a kind of a medium gray. Well, now you notice that the text is kind of hard to read because it's a darker color. We can even go and change that to let's say white and my active tab I'm, I'm okay with those colors so we'll just leave this as is we'll click OK and so we kind of get a preview of what our tabs are going to look like now I can go down and choose other options if I wish if I'm not sure what something is I just hover over the question mark it'll tell you what it is um, I'm going to leave everything at the default and then to generate your script you just have to click on the license box that says you understand the license and then it generated my script down here. Now I can copy and paste this into a text file. So we'll do that. We'll open up Notepad here and we will paste it in. And then we'll save it. So we'll call this uh, Easy Tabs version 5.0. We'll save it as a text file. And must have had it already there. Okay, so now we've got our, our script. I'm going to go back to my resource library. And we will go ahead and upload that to our library. So I'll click on Add Document. We'll browse to the desktop. Here's my script. Click Open click OK. That's going to upload our script and now we've got those additional fields that we had, we had already created when we created our, our script library. So uh, we can call this Easy Tabs. Just give it a title. The author we'll put Christoph Humbert and then we'll put our URL in there and we could put comments if we wish but that's that's OK. We'll save that and now you can see we've got our script file in here and with our additional data we can look real quick and easy if we want to go get more information we can go and click on the link go out to the website that we got the script from now what we want to do is we want to implement this onto our page so let's we're going to click through we're going to open this and since it's a text file it'll just render in the browser i just want to get the url for this so i'll get my relative url by highlighting and then right click and copy we'll just take in the relative URL so everything after the the server name here so we've got that we'll go back let's click browse here and let's go back to our home page now first of all it looks like we need to add a couple more web parts here because it's not going to make sense if we just have one web part on the page to put those web parts in a tabbed interface so let's just go ahead and add a couple things we'll go into edit the page and underneath, well, maybe on top of the documents, let's insert a couple of web parts. And let's use a list for this one. We'll, we'll, we'll put a calendar on here. And then maybe under that we'll put We'll go insert, we'll go insert another list. Um, we'll put our OneNote documentation library. Of course, you'd, you'd want to put things that are going to be useful to your, your audience. But this is just for demo purposes. So now what we want to do, so now you see we've got these three web parts on the page, and I have to scroll down quite a bit to see them all. It's kind of kind of not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert another web part. We're going to insert a content editor web part. And this should be found under media and content, content editor. We're going to click add. Okay, and then we see it, 
it's added to the bottom here. We need to open this up. We need to edit the web part so we can get the properties pane. And what I'm going to do is I had copied the, the URL to my script, and so I'm going to paste it in here. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it. Now I want to be sure to always click on test link. Make sure that opens up. Okay, so it opens up. Uh, that's not what it's going to look like when it renders in your web page, but at least we know that we're, we're on the right track here. So that worked. And now what we want to do is open up the appearance option and we want to go down here. Well, let's first, let's give it a title. This will make it easy for troubleshooting. If, if we have multiple content editor web parts, we might not know which one we're, we're looking at. So we always want to give that a name and then let's set the Chrome type to none. We'll click OK. Okay, now you still see, we're still in edit mode, so you still see all these web parts right on top of each other with our easy tabs at the very bottom. But if you go up to the top, and first of all, I, I just want to get rid of this text up here. We don't really need that. Okay, so now if I save it, and now that it's no longer in edit mode, I see my tabbed interface at the top. So by clicking on each tab, we see the web part that is associated with that. And I could even go and get rid of some of the extra white space. It seems that it's capturing in front of each of these. Maybe, All right, so we'll save that. Yeah, and that's a little better. And so you can see how you it, it saves screen real estate. You can add multiple tabs to your page. Um, you can avoid the scrolling down. So it's just a nice little feature to add to your site. So that's how you add a script to your scripting library and then utilize that on your site.